During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about road safety. Well, as spring arrives and equipment starts moving out to fields, whether that's for fertilizer application or planting or tillage, there's always a lot of concern out on the road, especially when it's something you just haven't seen for a number of months, and now here comes the big equipment again. All right, if you are a non-farmer, here are the two main things I want you to know. Number one, when you see that triangle on the back of these slow-moving vehicles, you are required by law to slow down to the speed of the vehicle before you pass. You don't get to just just fly around them at 90 miles an hour or 80 or 60 or whatever your speed limit is. The second thing is farmers have to drive on the road. They can't drive on the shoulder of the road. So they are required, again, by law, when you're driving on a road, you have to drive down the actual road in a lane, not on the shoulder. So those are two big things that a lot of non-farmers ask me about. And I just say, hey, we got to make sure that we're following the rules here. The other thing you have to be aware of is this is farm equipment. So it might not be waiting for that next road intersection to turn off. It might be turning into a field approach coming up at any point. That's why it's really important to follow the rules here because you never know. There might be a field approach that you're not used to watching for that that farmer is getting ready to turn off on. Now, one of the things that farmers will occasionally do is pull extra wide equipment down the road. If it's just a short distance, this is usually no big deal. And for the most part, I would say most farmers have good lights. They have all these signs and flags and everything else. But still, it is just one of those hazards as you are driving on the road. And probably the biggest thing that I would stress today is just take a deep breath drive a little bit slower, give us as farmers a break because in, in a lot of cases, like Darren said, we are not typically going very far. Most of our fields personally are within five miles of where we live. So we aren't traveling far, but we need to get there and we need to get there safely. Well, I see the same thing with construction equipment that's heading down the road. This is the time of year where that starts moving as well. And even people moving houses or, or pre-built houses down the road, it's just a very temporary inconvenience that, you know what, you're probably going to see it once all spring. It's not that big a deal. All right, so road safety is incredibly important. We just really encourage you again, please, when you see the slow moving vehicle sign in the back of a vehicle, you've got to slow down to that speed, whether it's 10 miles an hour, 15, 20, whatever it is, slow down to that first, then proceed around. And just understand farmers can't get over onto the shoulder to let you around. They are required to drive down a particular lane. So you're just gonna have to pass them when you hit a passing zone again. I wish they could drive off in the ditch, Brian, because then maybe they could run over our Weed of the Week. That would be a great way to stop this week's no, week. No, no, no. Well, we'll talk about <laughs> no what'll actually... No ditch driving, please. <laughs> we'll talk about what'll actually stop this weed coming up later in the show.